Okay, so for this next bit, we're just going to use our roofing torch. Make sure, obviously, wherever you do this, that you've got plenty of space and plenty of air. We're inside a garage, doors are open, so we don't have a problem. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the torch, I'm going to put it onto the bottom of the heat pipe, and as we come to the top, um, you can obviously hopefully see some gas venting out. So with a bit of luck, I'll try and line up the shot so that you can that you can see it. And then what we've got over here, we've got a little top. And once we're good to go, we've got steam coming out. We'll pop it on. So let's get the let's get the gas on the bottom of the pipe and get it started heating up. Okay. So it's on. Um, heating up. Now we just got to wait. We'll get our our pipe in readiness, and we'll get a we'll get grab a bob as well because it's going to get a bit hot and a bit and a bit steamy. So we can cap it off. And we did this in one of the earlier videos, but I'm not really sure that I managed to capture the the water coming out. Okay, so now hopefully you can see it pluming out the steam, which is kind of what we want, right? So we're guessing out, which is great. And then, we'll cap it off and we're done. Take the heat off, turn that off, and then seal that up. Okay. And then we have now created our heat pipe. So what's happened in there is that we've driven out all the air, we've had all our steam come out. And effectively we've capped that off and effectively now that it's capped off we've got effectively a low pressure tube so we've driven out all the air and effectively expanded all the air um, and the gas that was in there and then we sealed it and as it cools down obviously no more air can go back in so we've got a low pressure tube and that effectively creates the heat pipe.